Hello and welcome to my page. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari. And on here we talk about fragrances that are either in my collection, fragrance layering, or anything that uh, you all give to me as an idea to discuss. But today's topic is going to be about a Middle Eastern fragrances. If you've never heard of me, like say this is the first time you've ever come across my page, then you can find me on all my social medias. Um, I would initially say start off on Instagram. Uh, there's where I tend to not take breaks or anything out because I post what I am wearing daily. I do a couple of lives there. If you all would like me to move those lives to YouTube, maybe once or twice, then please tell me about that too. But let's get into what we're going to talk about today. Middle Eastern fragrances, and we're going to talk about a tire collection. I love that collection. I have a four of them. Um, there's two more that I would like to get, but I have four that I want to talk about today. And if that sounds interesting, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, three of them I do have the box for, and one of them I do not have the box. I'm not quite sure what happened to it, uh, but I can show you the presentation. Uh, I will show you the presentation of one of them in the box so that you can see how it comes in the box. But let's get into the first one. The first one we're gonna talk about is Azili. Azili is one, uh, and I'm saying the name wrong, I apologize ahead of time. This one here, Oh, God, this one here has a gorgeous opening. That opening is like an orange lemon lime, right? So it has a bit of a citrus opening with orchid and ylang ylang. But what makes it smell so great or I'm so in love with it is it had, excuse me, it had mastopan in it, right? So mastopan vanilla and rose. Uh, and that is purple, <laughs> to be truthfully honest. But this fragrance is... If you're looking for something that's a slight, it's, it's floral, but you want a little added woodiness to it, then this is the one here. Then I say go for this one. And then, excuse me, and forgive my voice, I've been fighting a cold. <laughs> As you see, it just cut off. <laughs> so uh, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Azura. Azura is one that I would say that is more tropical. So if you're looking for a fragrance by this line, but you want it to be more tropical, more uh, fruity or so forth, so on, uh, then I say we'll go with this one. This is what the presentation looks like. It's like, a, it's velvet-like on the outside of it. Um, it's in a square box. If you often look at many of my videos, you'll see that it's normally above my head. <clears throat> So that's the presentation of it. So let's get into, and they all look like that, but in various colors. So whatever color the bottle is, that's the color of the pre of the box. But this one here, and this is what it looks like in the bottle. This one here is, is lychee. It has that lychee, bergamot, and orange opening, right? So that is where it starts to get real like fruity like. And then the heart of the fragrance is that peach. So it's peach and then it's floral notes. <clears throat> but the base of it is white musk in woody notes. But this one, I don't really get that, that much woody notes. This is truly a tropical fragrance. I think this is probably amazing in the summer. I often do reach for this in the summer. This is the fragrance that I reach for when I want to have like that vacation vibe. Yeah. Then I go for this one here. And it's Azura, right, by a tire collection. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about, I probably have mentioned before in one of my uh, favorites of Middle Eastern fragrances or longevity Middle Eastern fragrance. Either way, I'm going to post both of those videos. I'm pretty sure this one has come up before, right? So this one here, again, like I said, it has that velvet-like um, feel on the outside of the presentation. And it's in a red bottle, of course, because the box is red, right? So I was saying that uh, pretty much what the bottle looks like, that's the box. Uh, so this is the actual presentation of the bottle, right? So it looks like this. This one here has a note, a note in it that if you're into gourmand fragrances, you would love this one. This one, oh God, I like this one so much. This one here, the standout is pineapple. So it opens up with pineapple 
and berries and raspberries. So it's real fruity in the opening. And then it gets into whipped cream. I know that is so good. So picture that on skin, whipped cream, honey, and plum. Now, I'm a plum lover, and I'm going to do a video to talk about all my favorite plum fragrances, but I absolutely love plum. Then when the black currant comes in, you get this ice cream dry down. This is one I hear a lot of people talk about, and they often go out to get this one if they get any from the line. It's because it's a it's an easy reach. It's an easy fragrance. It's not overbearing. It's not one that you will be disappointed in unless you do not like a more gourmand type fragrance then of course you know this might not be your type but if you like gourmand this is the one you should start off with all right now the last one i have in the collection is my favorite by far right uh i chose it to be the last one uh because i know you hear a lot of people talk about this one too but this one here is crystal love for her crystal love for her and again like i said i've already showed you the presentation so i don't i'm not going to do it up close on it and it's in a white bottle but uh crystal love for her is just amazing right it's amazing it's an amazing fragrance i have to spray it i have to spray it so let me spray it okay oh i can already smell it <laughs> this one here is vanilla it's powdery it's just sexy it's it's you know it's out of the ones that i have you know they mostly are kind of fruity like and then they have a touch of gourmand uh, or have a touch of woodiness to it this one is just it has fruits in it but it's more rose in the beginning and then it moves into dark like a milk chocolate Yes, like a like a white chocolate, really, to me. I get more, it says that it has milk chocolate, but I get more of a white chocolate. So if you know what white chocolate smells like, then that's this fragrance right here. And this one here, oh, you get nutmeg. And then the dry down is a bourbon vanilla. If I, if, if I have not expressed that I absolutely love this fragrance, <laughs> that I am not showing enough love. I love Crystal Love for her. Out of the whole line, that is one of my absolute favorites. I had to put it up high. That's probably why they got placed up on the top shelf so that I wouldn't reach for this one very often. If I had to pick a number one, this one would be my number one. Crystal Love for her. You should go get it. All right. We have talked about the fragrances that I have from the collection of Atar Collection and the uh four that i have and but there are others um many people are telling me that i probably should go out and get the queen of sheba right and i've had a sample of queen of sheba i'm not sure yet if i'm ready for queen uh, queen of sheba but i can tell you that i am interested in getting uh god what is the name of it it is al rohan i want that one and then uh, the other one that I'm interested in is going to be um, Cotteel, Kate Teal Cate for Night. Uh, that has been on my radar for me to get. And then the last one that is on my radar to get is uh, Floral. I want to say it's Floral Rose. Floral Rose or Floral Rosa. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty, pretty positive I put the 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 screenshot of what the fragrance is above my head so you would know exactly which one if you have any of those three uh please tell me more about them uh i want to fall in love with queen of sheba but it's something in queen of sheba that is not connecting with me but i do believe this is a beautiful line uh if you if there's anything that you want to talk about i know that i find that my middle eastern fra uh, fragrances reviews do well on this channel uh, give me another line, and, and if I have that line in my collection, I will be more than happy to come on and talk about the ones that I like from there. I always enjoy doing this with you. I apologize for the delay. I have been truly under the weather, and I am trying to get better so that we can get back into the swing of things. I enjoy this. I bid you a goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.